Hello everyone, it's January 7th, 2021. Um, really quickly, yesterday here in the United States, everything went completely cuckoo um, and a lot of really sad, um, very disturbing things have been happening in our country. Also some good things, yay Georgia! And some really bad things. Um, and I, I just did a, a normal episode yesterday and didn't really talk about it. And there's big things happening today. I just want to say that the whole reason I'm doing this and this channel is here is to provide a little bit of escape. And I think that's important. The, the scary news stuff will be there when we get back. Um, but I do know what's going on. And uh, for the sake of my stress-induced high blood pressure, I'm trying not to focus on it too much, but um, I just am hoping for better days for everybody very soon. So, on to some fun stuff. I will show you guys my outfit because it is new. Yesterday, I spent a whole day sewing up that dress plan I told you guys about. So this is my, I should stand on a chair so you can see the lane. If I can stand on a chair without killing myself. Okay, there we go. So it comes right below the knee and it's a new sort of dress pattern hack that I did. So the top of the dress is the Hello Gorgeous Top by uh, Pattern Emporium, which I was, as I said, suggested to try it by uh, watching Kristen from the Dahlia Society. I love it. I did the round square neck and the big poofy sleeves and I feel very much like Gothic Snow White, which is my favorite look ever, um, even though I'm now the same age as the Evil Queen. Um, and then the I made a little belt um, out of just a long piece of the fabric tied around my waist. And then I sewed the top to the um, Friday Pattern Company's Westcliff dresses skirt, which is just an A-line skirt. And I think it worked pretty well. I had to take a lot out of the side seams of this top, like an inch and a half. But I have a whole video coming out later today where I show some snippets of me sewing it. And also I talk a little bit about the fit and things like that. But yeah, that was fun. That's my second new dress of uh, this year. So. Yay, I need to slow my roll because um, I'm making a lot of stuff. Um, I'll show you very quickly the very moderate amount of progress we did on the knitting pattern yesterday. Um, I didn't do much. I got like another repeat done. It was just a busy day. Like I said, I spent the whole day filming. But here is the pattern starting to repeat. Do you see the cute little triangles? I'm kind of excited. I think this will be cute. This is the back and uh, yeah, so that's that. I should be able to finish the back part and then cast on the front um, very soon by picking up stitches. So that's exciting. What else? Aside from hours of filming yesterday, we um, went and uh, watched the history of swearing. And the first one we watched was the F word. Um, and we watched that. It is hosted by Nicolas Cage. And honestly, he has been not as good as he is in this in things he won Oscars for. So <laughs> it's hilarious and very interesting. And if you like like the origin of words and things like that, it's 100% worth watching. Um, and there's some shocking revelations about a word that we all are not supposed to use, but probably all use more than we should. So that was... That was very fun to do. Um, my lipstick today is Alpha by Urban Decay, which I love, 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 love. It's like a nice cool toned red pink, um, which is one of my favorite colors. And uh, yeah, what have I got planned today? Uh, today I'm going to work some more on the knitting. Um, try to do some more organizing of some stuff, figure out kind of what I want my next projects to be, and uh, just take it kind of easy. So this is a very 
very short video, isn't it? I don't have a lot to say today, but I'm excited about my new dress and getting that video edited and up for you guys. Um, I don't know how I feel about shooting sewing videos. Um, it's not really what I'm supposed to be doing uh, on this channel. This channel was originally just a hair channel um, and there will be a hair video coming very soon. But I've been really into sewing for the last year. It's kept me sane. And I feel like there's not as many people sewing vintage inspired pieces that are in comfy fabric like knits. And I feel like maybe there's a niche there that I could be filling. I'm certainly filling it in my own wardrobe. Um, but I was thinking about doing a sew along thing. I have a pattern called the Valley Skater Dress. And it is about a year old. It's from Sinclair Patterns and it was free. And it's a really cute dress. And I was thinking about doing a sew along because I've never sewn it before. So like actually going through the whole process of how I take a new pattern and kind of make it work for me and come out with a dress. And it's a beginner level. So that's something you guys would be interested in seeing because I feel like a simple knit dress is something anyone can sew even if you've never sewn with a knit before. So if that's something that seems cool, let me know. Um, I also, my hair's back parted on the side again. Um, I really like the middle part. I just need to wait till my bangs are a little bit longer before I can do it more consistently. Cause it did start to look a little weird by the end of the day. Cause my bangs are, you know, just to my eyebrow. So anyway, all right. I have now done enough waffling. Well, I'm not saying much. So I will see you guys very soon. I hope you are staying safe and healthy and I'll see you tomorrow.